fortune I see. What can I do for the people? What can I do for the world? Always full of trouble. Always full of sorrow. What can I do with my heart? This little heart of mine. So little and so fine. This little heart of mine. Here's what I'll do with my heart. If the world doesn't hurt, then my heart doesn't hurt. That's what I'll do for my heart. That's what I want to tell my so-called disciples, if you still call me master, please listen well. If you do want to survive, please prepare many things, like prepare solar flashlight, yeah, anything solar that you can, and then prepare food. Yes, yes, yes. At least it lasts for two weeks or months or more if you can. Those that will not be rotten soon. Yes, yes. yes. And if you're using some of them because the date of expiration is soon, then you buy new ones to replace it in your pantry or in your cellar, wherever you put your food. Those you don't need a refrigerator, like rice, dry noodles of different kinds of beans, dry beans or canned beans and canned food and dry food. You save some for yourself in case really an emergency breaks out. I do hope not. I do hope not. Please pray that whatever I say to you is wrong. But just prepare in case. Who knows? Yes, Master. Okay. Yes, Master. Now, prepare food and prepare something for an emergency, warming the house. Look on the internet to learn many things that you could survive with in case of an emergency. Yes, Master. Yes, yes, Master. Master. In case atomic bombs or nuclear bombs explode somewhere, even if not too near you. And of course, especially if near you, don't go out. Don't go out for as long as possible. Depends on where you are, of course. Just stay indoors. Eat whatever you have in your pantry. It's safer. Don't try to go out and look for food or take things from the agriculture fields, they are contaminated and you will be breathing in contaminated air. Just stay put inside the house, if you can, or anywhere inside, okay? Stay put. Yes, master. Yes, master. There is something also called anti-radiation drugs. I don't know how effective it is, but you guys can try to see if it's good. Then you can also prepare to have some at home in case. Yes, yes, yes master. master. But if a nuclear weapon lands within a uh, 50 kilometers radius or near where you live, then you don't eat anything in the field for at least many weeks or months on end because it will be contaminated by the radiation of the atom bomb or nuclear bomb. Okay, Master. Understand, Master. If you have any farm or any land around you, garden, use it to the maximum to plant a vegetable every time. And if you don't have, then maybe you squeeze together and keep one room free. And in that room, you grow vegetables. It doesn't have to be big deal vegetables. Any vegetable you eat, most of them, for example, even cabbage, if you take out all the leaves in the middle, there is a core. If you don't cut too deep into the core to damage it, then you just plant it in the earth and water it. It will grow. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. I promise it does. Yes. I did that before. It helps. It really grows. And even peppermint, you take out some leaves already and just a stem left. You plant it, the little branch, you plant it in the soil, it will grow again. And vegetables like bok choy and stuff like that, you just cut the leaves and leave the end of the bok choy or the vegetable 
about two, three inches and then plant it again. Yes, yes Master. Master. It will grow out just as new and broccoli, corn, everything. I did that before. Yes, Master. Yes. I think I might have some photographs somewhere. They grow out of them. They grow again like new in no time. Wow, wow. I yeah. see, Master. Yes, Master. It really grows. And you can buy a lot of seeds, a lot of beans, and begin growing vegetables already. I mean, the beans can grow sprouts. And even in shortest cases, the bean sprouts and the dry beans are enough for you to consume and to survive. Yes, Master. 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 And beans and seeds don't go bad so quickly. You can always keep growing them and eating them instead of going out to buy vegetables because in emergency times there might be no shops, no vegetables for you to buy. And store some water in containers, gallons or something already. Yes, Master. Okay, yes, master. master. And in the case of emergency, just keep them to drink, not to bath or anything. Maybe just clean your teeth but not bathing. Maybe just use a wet towel to wipe your body whenever needed. It doesn't have to be every day. Yes, Master. 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 In uh, Buddhism, the monks take a bath every two weeks. I do the same. And it doesn't matter. It's okay nowadays. Of course, if I have to go out and lecture, then I have to make myself more clean. But I feel clean the way I'm doing it. And you don't have to eat three meals a day if you don't work so hard, you don't go out or anything. Normally, one meal is enough. You just eat until you are happy. And that's all you need, really. Okay, Master. Understand, Master. Understand, Master. Understand, Master. And if you don't have any money to store a lot of food and fancy things, you just buy like brown rice and sesame already roasted or even maybe raw and then you roast it yourself if you can. If not, just buy roasted sesame and eat it with brown rice and salt. So store some of these. It will last a long time. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. But the brown rice doesn't last as long as white rice. Oh. So you buy both. So you eat first the brown rice and then the white rice you eat later. I understand. Okay, Master. Keep sesame and peanuts. Those things have a lot, a lot of protein. Even if you cannot cook anything, you can eat them with rice. I understand. I understand. And then you have enough nutrition to survive. Yes. Yes, Master. I have done that for three months at least when I did not have any so-called disciples. I went on retreat like every monk should do every year, three months, all the rainy season. And I ate only brown rice, sesame, and some salt. And at that time, I could afford a bottle of soy sauce, and I added a little bit for taste. Otherwise, it brown rice, sesame, and salt is good enough already. I understand, sir. And uh, look on the internet to learn from other people how they grow their vegetables in the house, inside any room, with even buckets or even plastic bags or any discarded uh, bags, you know, anything they grow in, how they grow them and how they harvest and use them. Yes, must Yes, must I'll grow it on the balcony, grow it in even your big bathroom. I did grow, uh, say, soya, sprouts in my bathtub before. Oh, wow. Yes. So all this I tell you is from my own experience also. You can grow anything inside the house and put them next to the window sill or on the window sill or next to the window or spare one room. Or also put them in your living room just as a plant, you know, just as a decorative plant as well. Yes, yes, yes master. master. It doesn't have to be uh, planting any other plants. You can plant your vegetables as decorative plants so that you are ready in case of emergency. I understand, Master. If there is nothing else you can buy or it's not possible to have any money or nobody would accept any money, just just keep growing them. Even if there is no emergency, you still can eat them. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes. Every day you need them. Anyway, you, you have to go to the supermarket to buy them. And nowadays, food is getting less and less available and more and more expensive. So you can grow them easily, very easily. All the plant needs is just soy, any soy, you know, from the garden or you buy from the shop and mix with some soy in your garden or some 
some sand. And if you have garden, you have trees, then you can use the leaves to compost. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. And anything like when you mow the grass, you just put it in the compost together with the leaves and put some soy and some things, and it will be fantastic already. Yes, yes. I don't have all that luxury. I did not have. So at that time when I planted, I just put tea leaves, you know, the, mm. the tea bags that you drink. Yes, yes. Wow. Yes, master. You put in your, your cup to make tea and the bag is still there. Yes. You yes. take it out and, uh, and then put it on your plant. Yes. Oh, I see. They grow like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so truly, we don't need a lot in life. If you don't have anything to eat, make sure you have brown rice sesame and salt and you will survive yes, yes master. Yes. and water thank you master and make sure you keep some of the water filters so that in case the water becomes contaminated or dirty you can filter the water and cook it or drink it straight without cooking it depends yes master. Understand, master. Understand. but i always cook the water even if it's filtered i i feel uh, safer that way i feel better mm. You should buy canned food, so no need to cook in the event that we don't have even electricity or gas or any means of cooking. Have to prepare for all scenarios. You have to even train your pet people to do their business inside, somewhere in the bathroom or some piece of uh, maybe uh, artificial grass or, or anything that they will do there who be inside on because in the case of a nuclear or atomic explosion the pet people cannot go outside because they will bring the toxic radiation into the house when they come back in and that will be bad for all of you including the pets i feel very very frustrated and very lonely even with the help of heavens so even though heavens have comforted me and told me don't don't lose hope to save your planet, I just at the moment honestly I just don't know how we can win. Oh, please pray whoever can, please. We need all humanity to stand up, you know, to back us in this troubled time. <laughs> I don't know. I cannot cry anymore. It's say that you, they will be wiped out, you know, it's the words of heaven, not mine. Wiped out. 72%. My God. Uh, I mean, the first half of it and then the next half coming. Uh, and that's it. Goodbye, planet Earth. 2047 will be all gone. Uh, it's not about going. You, the initiates, will go to heaven, but other people will suffer no end in hell. My God. Oh, I pray so much, but I don't know if anything will help anymore. Just be vegan. My God. It's not even about God or spirituality. It's scientifically proven that vegan will save you, save your lives, save your loved ones, and save your planet. Please just go vegan. Be repentant. Make peace and do good deeds. So say whatever you can and be as independent as possible because you might need to be in that position, in that spirit of self-cultivation, self-harvesting, and self, you know, taking care of yourself so that you can survive. But because heaven also told me, do not lose your hope to save your world. So I'm keeping that hope alive, even weak, like a small flame, but it can spread to a bigger flame for example, you have just one small candle, but if you have wood, leaves, and dry things, uh, burnable things in the garden, you can use a candle to make a big fire. Yes, yes, yes master. master. 
So I keep that flame alive, and so should you, and so should the disciples. We are not as many as the whole world, but we must try. We must have faith in God, in justice, and in our own purity, goodness, and in our unconditional love for humankind and other people, other beings on this planet. We pray and we meditate as much as possible. Yes, Master. Yes. Nothing is as important as your meditation and prayers, especially nowadays. Everyone should. Remember that. Your time is precious, more precious now than ever. Please do not neglect your duty, like praying for the world, meditating for yourself and for the world as well. We do share the merit, the blessing of meditation that God bestows through us. So whatever we do spiritually, sincerely, it will help the world. I mean, maybe not the whole world, because this time is a time of real cleansing. It's supposed to be the golden age, but not too many are fit to live in it. So that's how the world may be destroyed. The world is wiping out all humanity. That's what they told me. Wow. Anyway, I hope I'm wrong. And moreover, I hope we will win. The positive power of people will win with God's blessing, God's grace, and God's mercy. Yes, Master. Amen. Pray for that. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. Thank you, Master. What can I do with my heart? She wouldn't let me free. It hurts me so much daily with every misfortune I see.